Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. <laughs> Some requests lately about underpainting and what is an underpainting and could you show us how you would do an underpainting? An underpainting really is just what it sounds like. It's a painting, a color, it's a, a layer of color that you put underneath the over layer. So for instance, what I would do on a canvas like this, which is 24 by 24, I might do a real watery sort of an underpainting. And then I would let that underpainting dry because this is acrylic. And then I would paint over that. And maybe I would leave some of the underpainting showing through in the final painting. Uh, and you'll see this a lot as a, as a lot of people that teach this method where you do a red underpainting or an orange underpainting. And then you do a landscape, for instance, over top of that. And then um, you let little bits of that underpainting show through. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at a painting right here. You know, this one was done with an underpainting. You can see it's a kind of a burnt sienna color underneath. And then I painted over it with a palette knife. All right, so an underpainting. It's just what's underneath your other painting. It's a very typical, you know, if you're if you take an oil painting class, for instance, a classical oil painting class, uh, they'll say, okay, do a medium value underpainting first, because then that puts your your values right in the middle, and then you know you, you need to go darker and lighter when you apply the color over it. Now with acrylic, for me, it's a little bit different. I like to have a dry underpainting to work from. Some people don't, some people, you know, do a wet one and then go right into paint. But for me, that turns too much color up into the final color combination. And I personally don't like that, but you can do it however you want to. So for this demo, what I'm going to do is a real, a center of middle value, real watery, you know, a lot of water uh, from the spray bottle and from the water bucket mixed with a neutral gray six color and a Titan buff color. Both of those are, are golden paint colors. Neutral gray N6, which means a neutral six, and then Titan buff, which is a buff titanium. It's the titanium paint without the bleach in it that you would get with a you know titanium white, for instance. Okay, all right, so let's get started. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I got my water bottle in my hand. I've got a water bucket. I've got the neutral gray here, so I'm just going to put water on the palette. This is a piece of uh, um, wax paper I have out here. So I'm going to take each one of these and add plenty of water. Now, to do this sort of a technique, you really need a floor that you don't, you're going to have to put some plastic down. For me, I just have you know, a regular studio floor that gets abuse all the time, uh, but this will be very drippy. All right, so what, I, what I'm doing really is just, as you can see, the kind of a medium value, middle value, if you want to call it middle value, which you really should probably call it middle value. Right, and it's just kind of an even mixture for me of the buff titanium and the neutral gray. And you can, you can, you know, jazz it up with as much water as you want. I prefer to make it sort of a thin, uh, you know, that's a little thick right there. I like a thinner mixture. And lots of times when I get down here to the end, I like it to drip a little bit more. And I'll probably, you know, and you can do all kinds of cool little drippies in here if that's your deal. Say this is messy. So if you don't, <laughs> if you have a floor, you don't want to get messed up. This might not, this might not be the, <laughs> the technique for you to use. <clears throat> and you can do whatever you want, right? You can. I think I just got this all over my face and my glasses, but that's right. I don't 
don't think any of you will mind. You can keep going back, you know, if you need to, you know, reinvigorate some of it at the top or some here, add more color back in. All right. And you get some neat, you get some neat effects, maybe some of it you would want to leave exposed in the final painting, maybe not. Um, but it gives you, an, you know, kind of gives you a nice look. I mean, I like this certain underpainting. What I like, what I like about it is a couple of things. One is it's got plenty of water, so it's a thin underpainting. So I still, you know, get a little bit of that canvas look coming through there. It's not an opaque um, application of the paint. It's watery, it's drippy, which gives it some character. And you know, if you wanted to do drips around, you can turn it around. I mean, you can do whatever you want to. Uh, use a spray bottle, not use a spray bottle. I like using the spray bottle. It gives you some nice effects in here. And you can see as this continues to, to migrate south, so to speak, through gravity, you know, it's gonna to continue to whiten up some of these areas and give a nice feel and look to the canvas, which I really like. All right, so do this, try it, have fun with it, use whatever colors you want to, based on, you know, whatever kind of colors you're gonna put over it. This one being a neutral, sort of a grayish color, it's a warm gray, right? Because the neutral gray, not warm or cool. I added the buff titanium, which is warm, so I get a nice, soft, warm gray underpaint. So I hope this works for you. Have fun, paint loose, stay wet, Loose brushes, wet brushes, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. If you like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.